Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun, just talk through video. You guys know this is my favorite. I love to do get ready with me's, and these are my favorite kind of videos to film. Lately, I've been doing super glam, super smoky eyes for the holidays. The holidays just passed, and I was doing like really intense makeup looks for the eyes. So I really want to kind of switch it up and do a more natural eye with more of a bold, fun lip. I haven't done a lip like this in a while, and I love how they look. They make me look more tan. I feel like they make me look more like. Festive? I don't fucking know. I don't know the word. I don't think there's anything else to say. Hmm. Besides, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know the drill with that? So recently I've been getting questions about why I say if you guys don't like it, don't fucking watch it. I really, I mean, I think it goes without saying, but what I mean by it is that haters choose to comment on videos. Like, it's their choice. They're watching the videos by choice. I'm not forcing you to click play. So if you guys don't like me, if you guys don't appreciate what I do, you guys don't like the way I look, you guys don't like the way I sound or anything, you don't have to watch the video and you don't have to send me hate. You know, it's like a choice whether to click play or not. So that's why I say in every single video, just a reminder of, yo, it's you clicking my videos. I'm not freaking forcing you to click it. So if you guys don't like this video and if you guys don't like me, please just don't fucking watch it because there's no point. That's why I say in every single video, just to remind the bitches that I'm the boss. Yo, fam, homie, okay? But if you guys do like this video and you guys do like me, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And so let's go ahead and get into this festive little look. So let's go ahead and start this get ready with me. I just wanted to like chit chat, get ready with me. My style, you guys know how it is. I love to do like talk throughs and chit chat, get ready with me's and whatnot. Let's go ahead and start getting into the makeup because you know I ramble like a crazy crack whore. Okay, cool. So first things first, we're going to start with the foundation. I'm already primed. I did the Benefit Pore Professional on my face. I love that primer. I love silicone based primers because I am more on the oily side. Crack an egg on my face, fried in the sun oil. So Maybelline sent out a bunch of foundations out to like a bunch of like beauty vloggers and stuff like that. And they decided to <laughs> send me a couple of their new Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. So I'm so excited to try this out. They sent me all the shades except the shade 30, which I think I'm going to be. So so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to mix 15 and 40 to get my shade. I haven't tried it, it's actually my first time trying it, so I'm gonna put more of 15 and like a, a dollop, a little dollop of 40. Right now, right off the bat, it's like a very moussey, very, very moussey consistency. It's very moussey, it's weird. Like this kind of reminds me of um, the Tarte foundation, like you know how the Tarte foundation is like very like thick and like kind of viscous? This is exactly how this one is, this is like a mousse. Like I'm talking like if you were to get like a Yo Play yogurt. That's whipped. That is what this is. It's whipped. That's what it is. It's a whipped foundation. Oh my god. Hello. Love when I'm smart. I'm just going to use a beauty blender to pat it in. Coverage, I would say, is a nice, like, medium to full buildable. Hmm. I think it looks really, really pretty. It's, a, it's very natural for a mattifying foundation. It's very natural looking. And I think I enjoy this. The fuck? And I feel like this foundation is going to be really, really great for other people's skin types. Like, a bunch of skin types because of the fact that it is... A mattifying foundation but it's hydrating at the same time so even if you're like dry I bet you can be able to use this I mean not that I know because I'm not dry so I can't like I mean don't take my word for it I mean fuck I feel like it definitely would be for sure cool so let's go ahead and conceal the under eyes because my bags today Wow I'm gonna go in with the NARS radiant creamy concealer in the shade custard I used to be actually quite obsessed with this concealer when I worked at Sephora obsessed with this concealer it's a beautiful concealer full coverage minimal creasing like I really truly do love it and then on top of that, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Brightening Pen. I really like brightening pens, especially like ones like this. L'Oreal Pen, come through, bitch. Come fucking through. And just blend that bitch out. <laughs> I have no freaking idea when this video is going to be going up because I am pre-filming like a mad woman. I'm going out of town. I'm going to Hawaii, which I am so excited to be doing. I'm going out with my friends. Sorry, I need to set this mug real quick. Go ahead and grab the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is the translucent one, not the Secret Brightening, and I'm actually gonna use that to set. I've been using this a lot to set my under eye recently. I love the Secret Brightening. Of course, you guys know this, I'm obsessed. But I've been really liking the um, translucent for underneath my eyes recently. Just like recently, I don't know. And then I'm gonna set the face with an E41 brush by Morphe. It's part of their new Elite Collection brushes, you guys know I've been raving about them. Because I love their new elites. I mean, I love their elite collection in general. Obsessed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press that in over the skin. Very lightly, actually. I'm not gonna go ham like I usually do with the powder. It takes to be more of like a natural... A natural full coverage, I mean. But I will use Studio Fix for the neck. <laughs> to kind of match up the face and the neck. Because I'm so pasty, you guys. I'm a pasty bitch. I'm so, so, so light. So I like to really... You know, like, match my face and my neck. I like to match them. You know? Usually people do. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and bronze up the skin. Taking Hula. 
of <laughs> duh. And then taking a Morphe M527 brush. This is just a nice little paddle brush. I'm just gonna bronze up the skin. Um, so you guys, honestly, January is gonna be such a hectic ass month. I'm so excited but so nervous for it like it's gonna be crazy i'm going to hawaii i'm gonna be going on vacation to hawaii with four of my best friends so i'm so excited we haven't seen each other i haven't seen two of them in like over two years so i'm so excited you know you have your gays like they're my gays you know but no get this get this i was supposed to be going to hawaii from the 16th to the 26th okay um because that was the vacation day so what happened was i got invited to an event in new york on the 16th and it's a big event, it's not something small, like it's something really, really exciting. So I told my friends, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna have to like cut my cut my portion of the trip a little bit more short because I have to do like this event, like this is like a huge opportunity. And they're like, of course, they totally understood. But it ended up turning into like a crazy ass thing. I'm going to LA next week for an event with Morphe. They're doing like their like live glam stuff for their new, for their box that they're doing with live glam. Three days, I'm gonna be in LA, then I come back home for two days, then I go to New York for three days, then I go to Hawaii from New York, flying to Hawaii for seven days, and then I come back. And then I'm back home for like five days. Am I back? No, fuck. I'm back home for like two days, then I go back to LA for Generation Beauty because I can't miss that. This is such a hugely hectic month for me. I just, I just kept piling on bronzer as I was talking, so what the fuck did I just do? I probably look like, like a crazy ass bitch with all this bronzer on. Kat Von D shade and light, banana e shade, of course, my favorite freaking highlighting shade of life. Go and start highlighting underneath the eyes, of course. I love doing this. And then I'm taking this shade up here, and I'm gonna kind of carve out that bronzer that we had going on right now. I kind of want to make it a little bit more clean, a little bit more sharp, and defined. I don't feel like cooking. And then we're gonna go and contour the face with the Makeup Geek Chiseled Cheek Brush and this shade right here by the Kat Von D Shade and Light. You guys, honestly, the Shade and Light palette is like top ass quality, top contouring palette that I've used all year. I am obsessed. And let's go and start carving up that cheekbone. Carve it out so hard that a carpenter would hit you up. Like, fucking carve it out, okay? So now let's go and highlight this skin. I am so excited to be using this product. I'm gonna be taking the Glow Kit by Anastasia. They just launched these. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to use them. Look at, like, look how freaking sickening they are. I haven't put them on my face yet. I've swatched them, but not on my face, but, like, Swatch and they look sick. So we're gonna grab Bubbly on a Morphe M510 brush. This is my favorite highlighting brush. I just love it. We're just gonna load that bitch up. Ooh, I like it. Hey, Texture, what's up? Nice to meet you, my name's Manny. Dude, Anastasia killed it with these highlighters, honestly. But I mean, honestly, when does Anastasia not kill it with a product? Let's be honest, she slays everything. So now I'm gonna go and blush up the skin a little bit, just a little bit of blush between the highlighting contour just to kinda even it all out together. I'm gonna grab a Morphe E4, and then I'm gonna take Gingerly Blush by MAC. I've been really into MAC blushes lately, and I just, I love them. We're just gonna do a very light layer of blush. You feel me? Okay, great, so the face is completely done. I'm gonna go and start with the eyes now, the fun, exciting part. I mean, honestly, it's not gonna be that exciting because I wanna do more of a neutral, pretty eye, so let's do it. So you see I do the brows off of camera, but because I got this new product, I really, really wanted to try it today, and I wanted to show you guys how it looks. So this is the new Anastasia Brow Definer. This is their newest pencil. It looks like this. It has like a sharp edge to it. Like, can you guys see? It's like a little, like, it's like a slant. I'm really excited, I have not tried this out yet. Usually I like to do brow gels only, like I don't really ever do like that much on the brows to be honest anymore. I used to be like real fleek, real intense, real carved out. I mean I just kind of stopped doing that because it's just not my thing. So now I'm just going to use this and I'm just going to start trying it out. You can literally make brow hair strokes with this, like this is crazy. Honestly, I love it. I just feel like it makes my brows look so much more defined. I feel like this is definitely gonna be an awesome product for Anastasia's line. I'm loving it so far, like I'm not kidding, I'm obsessed. Okay, cool, so the brows are completely done. I ended up using the brow definer only and I underlined them with concealer and I think they look so good, honestly. Like I'm so impressed with the brow definer. So I asked on Twitter and on Snapchat what you guys wanted to see, what palette you guys wanted me to use, either the Too Faced Holiday Collection or the Self Made by Anastasia. And you guys chose the self-made palette by Anastasia. It is stunning, stunning palette. I'm obsessed. That scared me. The only thing that this palette does not have, which I do need for every single look, is a transition shade that's completely matte. So I'm just gonna be going in separately with Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek on an E27 by Morphe. And that's just gonna go into my crease as my base. It's like my base shadow. 
So lately I've been doing so many smoky eyes. The last two tutorials were smoky eyes, so I'm gonna do more of a natural eye today using this palette, which can definitely be done even though it has like those bold pops of color. I'm gonna do more of a natural eye today because a lot of you guys have been requesting me to do more natural glam on the eyes, and I'm like, okay. Natural glam it is. So let's go ahead and grab a Morphe M433, which is like a basically a MAC 217 dupe. Remember, Morphe code, Manny MUA, all caps. Save you 10% off online and in store. They're my favorite affiliate. I, obs I obsessed. <laughs> I'm obsessed with them. So now I'm gonna grab Sherbert, which is this color right here. It is basically like a warm orange. I'm not just gonna go into the crease. It is literally like a satin finish. If you guys are not into satin or shimmery-ish colors for the crease, I totally get it. I'm really not into it either. But this color is speaking to me and I have to use it. So originally we grabbed Sherbert, which is this color right here, and then we're gonna grab Hot Chocolate, which is this shade right here. And that's gonna go in the outer corner, just for some added definition. You guys wanted me to do some natural shit, and I'm doing natural shit. And that's gonna go about halfway in. Let's grab a lid color, a very chill, natural lid color. We're gonna grab a mixture of Treasure and Pink Champagne, which are these two colors right here. They're very light, metallic, almost glittery type shades. And that's just gonna go on the lid with that Anastasia brush. I mean, it's right here, it comes with the palette. Why the fuck not? And that's just gonna go onto the lid. And this is what the top of the lid should look like. It's super easy, super natural, very just pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the top of the eye on the other side, and I'll be right back. Perfect, so we have both of the eyes done. It looks so, I think it looks so pretty. It's a very pretty, very delicate, very feminine look, but I do wanna do wing liner, so let's get into this wing liner. I'm gonna take the Inglot 77 gel liner, my favorite gel liner, and then the Sigma EO6 liner brush. So we have the eyeliner completely done. I also put mascara off of camera just because I wanted to put some mascara on. I'm wearing the Benefit Royal Lash on the top mascara. It's my favorite mascara. Let's go ahead and grab Sherbert again on a Morphe E36 pencil brush. And we're gonna run that underneath the lash line, just a very small amount of it, nothing too ham. So we're just gonna run that E36 with that Sherbert color underneath the lash line. So, I mean, I do love the eyes. I love that they're very like subdued, they're not too intense, they're very like natural, but I have to do a little bit of color in there, just a little, just a little bit. I'm gonna be taking deep purple, this color right here, which is like a neon -y purple, it's awesome. And that's gonna go on a E43, very, very flat defining brush. I love this brush so much. And then I'm gonna load that up and I'm gonna put that closest to the lash line. Just because I want a little bit of pop of color, but I don't want anything too ham. Like, I really want to keep it more natural because I said that was a do a natural look for you guys. So we're just going to blend out those edges very, very, very lightly. I don't want it to be like a hard line of purple. I want it to be a nice, diffused, adorable pop of color kind of purple. You feel me? And then on the waterline, I'm going to be putting the Tarte Inner Rim Liner. It's just a nice nude liner, and I'm going to put that on the waterline just to kind of open up my eyes a little bit more than they are. Extend the play Giggle Black Lash on the bottom by Mac Ola. Just to give me a little bit of definition on the bottom lash line. So for the lashes, we're going to be taking the New Bounce Some Serengeti Lashes. It's the one in the this packaging. I feel like the Bellas are a little bit more too dramatic. For this look, I really want to keep it more natural looking. Serengeti Lashes are very like flary and very wispy. Ha ha! Okay, great. So the lashes are on now. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in to see what the final eye looks like up close. So since my eyes are so chill and so laid back, I really want to do more of a dramatic, loud lip. So I'm thinking hot pink or like neon -y pink. I don't know what kind of fucking color this is, whatever. But I'm going to be taking the new Tardis lip paint and the new Tardis lip liner. Um, I just got these in recently and I really wanted to try them out. I've heard that they're very similar to the NYX matte lip creams because they are more of a moussey consistency. So I'm excited to try them out. I'm going to be taking the lippy pencil in Amaze. <laughs> I just broke the fucking thing. It's hard to get a precise line with these lip pencils though. I'm a big fan of sharpenable pencils because you can make a straight, sharp line. These ones you can't really do that, so that kind of annoys me. <laughs> so now let's go ahead and apply the lipstick. I'm using the lipstick color in So Fetch. Oh shit, this is very like moussey. This is definitely moussey texture. Feels like the foundation that I put on, <laughs> but they feel very nice. This doesn't feel like a very drying consistency. It doesn't, it's not like the Anastasia ones or like the Dose of Colors or Jeffree Star. These ones are much more like moussey and they don't I don't feel like they'll like really dry down like a hundred percent dry but um they're very 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 comfortable and I like how they feel they smell like peppermint it's a very minty smell but I like them so far I'm not gonna lie and this is the final look and that's it that's it for the entire tutorial I hope you guys had fun watching it and you guys learned something from this video 
I had so much fun filming it. You guys know I am a beauty channel. I love doing beauty for you guys. I do, I love doing challenges and like doing like Q&As and stuff like that. So you guys get to know me and I get to know you guys a little bit too. But makeup really is my passion and I love it and I love teaching you guys and I love it when you guys tell me that you've learned something or you guys have learned from me. That's like my favorite thing in the whole world. Like I love knowing that it's helped you guys, you know what I mean? I hope you guys are starting out your 2016 amazingly. I'm so excited and I'm so ready for this year to start. I'm so ready for my fucking palette to come out. Oh my god. This shit needs to come out soon or I will be killing bitches at the lab. No tea, no shade. Other than that, please feel free to check out my Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, everything will be linked down below as well as all the products I use in today's video and like some codes and stuff like that. If you guys are interested in anything, I leave everything laid out quite nicely in my description bar if I do say so myself. I'm not gonna lie, toot my own horn, toot, toot, toot. But yeah, other than that, have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are. I love you guys so fucking much. You guys know this and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah. Ah. Okay, so I'm gonna try, so I really wanted to try this new foundation. I'm already primed on the face, by the way. Can you guys see this hair? I have like one really dark hair right here. Hmm. So maybe, <clears throat> and then we're gonna go ahead and contour the face with the Makeup Geek Chisel Chi, Chisel Chi Chi, Chisel Chi Chi brush. Two glance, give a damn. What's that? Show me. Oh, the purse I got you for Christmas. It's just so cute. I know. Where are you guys going? Me and Dad are going to have a date night. And, and you're taking your new purse for a spin. Okay, cool. So we are done with the base. This is the base of the face. Base of the face. Hey. 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 Okay, great. So we have the base and the face. No, I always say base and face. Why the fuck do I always do that to myself? Okay, great. So we have the base and face. <sighs> fuck you, base. Cool. I'm so Mexican today. I'm like hella Spanish. Let's get it started and huh? Where's the beauty blender, honestly? <sighs> uh, ooh, ooh, my foot is asleep. Fuck. Fuck. It is really sleeping. Ew, I have fucking like asshole mouth. <laughs>